In this video, we will learn how to upload seismic data and seismic interpretation folders. So I created a new project, okay? Uh, to start uh, the, uh, the first uh, folder that we need to uh, 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 up that, we, that we need to create or to in, uh, insert, we come to new seismic main folder from folder here. So we click, and the seismic folder will show in the input tab window. If you click on the small arrow to the left, you will get some other uh, folders like Vintages. It's the place where you can uh, uh, locate or put all the other seismic versions like a pre stack on, po on post stack. In the interpretation folder, you can uh, 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 all the interpretations and picking for horizons and faults will be saved under this uh, for uh, under this folder. And uh, now we need to uh, bring the uh, survey s seismic sur survey by going to folder and click new seismic survey now we have the folder of seismic sur survey it's the place where we put our um, seismic uh, cube 3d or uh, 2d in lines cross lines and so, um, and, uh, and so on so uh, I need to bring my uh, um, survey so I right click import I click on the survey Okay, and I choose the format, uh, the file type SIGY seismic data, and open. Now in this window, I will uh, uh, QC the uh, uh, the seismic su uh, survey to make sure that uh, the import process uh, is correct. So I choose the 3D survey, not uh, not 2D. Uh, for the line detection method, uh, it's not recommended to use uh, automatic because sometimes uh, you you may encounter pro uh, there's a problem with the, uh, with the c with your uh, seismic uh, cubes like the number of inline or extline problem with the coordinates. So it's not it cannot ca it cannot can be fixed automatically. So uh, I prefer going to trace header field fields. Uh, now we need to focus on the x, y coordinates and inline x across line numbers and also the trace to scan. To, uh, to scan. Uh, for the uh, x uh, and y co um, uh, coordinates, we can check from the header of the uh, uh, seismic survey. So we come to uh, to the no uh, to uh, to check the to to make sure that it's the the right co the right coordinate the number of the x uh, 73 and 77 so s x is 73 and uh, s y 77 that's right for inline and cross line numbers uh, and this survey my end the inline numbers in my uh, seismic is uh, around 221 come here at 221 and the cross lines are around 5 uh, now, what I uh, will do is to tell the software software to trace uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to scan the, uh, the traces from one to one thousand. Then I uh, then I come to scan. Okay, and this figure I can QC my uh, import process to make sure my seismic is ready to be placed uh, in the uh, in the project. So uh, if uh, I come to this window, this um, uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, diagram is for inline and this for cross line. What you can see is uh, supposed that the, uh, the uh, each in uh, inline is uh, value is constant, okay, and uh, the, uh, the 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 number of the cross line of uh, the cross lines changes at each uh, uh, individual uh, in line. So, for example, we have the inline uh, with the number. Uh, with the number 500 okay it's crossed by uh, one two three four five and finally six then we come back to the next one which is uh, the inline 501 it's crossed by uh, 400 uh, 444 uh, 40 40 80 uh, um, 520 560 uh, and so on so from this figure I can see that my uh, uh, seismic data is uh, QC'd and uh, ready to work on. So I click, and uh, by the way, the same goes for uh, the coordinates X uh, uh, and Y. So I click OK, OK, and OK. Okay. Uh, okay, you can choose the name here. It's uh, uh, the domain is elevation and time, so everything is okay for me. There's no problem. So OK, OK for all. Now this is my survey.